Hey everyone, a user recently asked me if uh, this particular page can be automated using Cypress. In particular, when I click new window message, it pops this second window. Okay, let's see how this works because it depends on the implementation. If we inspect, uh, why are all these pages throwing so many errors? It's ridiculous. If we look at markup, we see it's a button and it's not a anchor uh, URL, so we cannot just replace the target. And we can look at event listeners, we can see that there is a click and, you know, there is some minified code. We can put breakpoint, but I wonder if this particular button calls window open. And the way to find out is to say window open and replace it with something else, like, you know, maybe a console log, right? And now let's try clicking it. Okay, yeah, trying to open. Perfect. And I believe it probably needs to return a window object. That's fine. Okay, let's go back to our project. I already set up the base URL. I'm visiting the page. Let's see if we can run it. Okay, visiting, you know, and this page immediately throws an error, right? Um, let's ignore this. So before we visit, we'll say sci on uncode exception and we'll just return false. Okay, at least it doesn't crash. Let's find how to select this button. Okay, by ID sounds reasonable. Click. Now in this case, as soon as it pops a second window, right, it's out of our control. So what we want to do here, say visit yields the window. So we can say this window object, size stop window object, open, and maybe it returns an object and save it as open. Let's see if this works. Okay, so we can see that it was really called, right, with parameters, empty string and message window. So let's confirm it. Our alias open should have been called with, and we can say an empty string and a message window. Perfect. We confirmed that when you click on this button, your application is calling window.open with certain parameters.